Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. Today we are going to solve one exponential equation x power x is equal to x cube or x power 3. We have to solve this equation for the value of x. If you see, if I am putting x equal to 1, suppose I am putting x equal to 1, so 1 power 1 is equal to 1 power 3, that means x equal to 1 is our solution. If suppose someone is putting x equal to 3, then 3 power 3 equal to 3 power 3, 27 equal to 27. That means x equal to 3 it's, is the solution for this equation. Is x equal to 1 and x equal to 3 is the only solution for this exponential equation? We will cross examine this in this video. And we will cover up and cross check using graph also. We will plot both the graphs, check whether it is intersecting more than twice or not. So let's begin. Let's get started. I am dividing both sides of this equation by x cube. So if I will divide then x power x divided by x cube equal to x cube divided by x cube. If I am dividing by x cube, so my denominator cannot be 0. So that means I cannot put x equal to 0. So immediately I should write x should be non-zero. If your denominator will become 0, then it will go to infinity or indeterminate state. Okay. So x power x divided by x cube equal to 1. Now property of exponent is if a power b over a power c is there base is same exponent is different then i will write a raised to the power b minus c so by this property of exponent equation will convert into x raised to the power x minus 3 equal to 1 this is how we will calculate one exponential equation in terms of x. Now, if you remember one, one of my video where I explained this form a raised to the power b equal to 1 is very common and very useful function. In general, if I will talk about, so there are three solutions for this equation. Solutions are if someone is putting a equal to 1, your right side will come out 1 for sure. So that means a is equal to 1. First point where b should be real. This is what we know already. Second point, if my exponent, the power b is 0, so b is equal to 0, when a cannot be equal to 0. 0 raised to the power 0 means indeterminate state you cannot find out value. Third case is if a is negative 1 and power means base is negative 1, base a is negative 1 and power is e1, then my right side will come out 1. You can see minus 1 raised to the power 200. b is e1, so it is there. a is negative 1 that value will be always equal to 0. So that is third case. Normally we used to know actually, we generally know 1 and 2. 1 and 2 means base is 1, exponent is 0, that is second case. First case is base is 1, second case is exponent 0. Third case I am adding here, that is base negative 1, power is e1 then our right side will come out 1. I hope this, this is clear. Now let me consider our equation. So x raised to the power x minus 3 is equal to 1. So let me start solution number 1. Base should be, let me write, base is, let me write x equal to 1 where x minus 3 cannot be otherwise real. 
means that should be real of course so if i will check that real value is there or not in the exponent base is 1 this is first case i am considering base is x x should be 1 and par let me calculate this value x minus 3 put there x equal to 1 so 1 minus 3 minus 2 which is real so x equal to 1 is one solution 2 b equal to 0 b means the power exponent so x minus 3 equal to 0 that means x is 3 where a cannot be 0 so a is x is not equal to 0 obviously it is not there so that means x equal to 3 is one solution x equal to 1 from point number 1 one solution third one is a base negative 1 let me put x equal to our base is x so x equal to negative 1 now power should be exponent should be even numbered so x minus 3 check this value so minus 1 minus 3 minus 4 so this is even integer or even number let me write even integer z so third solution is x equal to negative 1 if i will sum up here then i will say my solutions are plus 1 minus 1 and 3 let us verify through graph also check it out see this is your x raised to the power x graph x raised to the power 3 means cubic function it is now you can see blue color graph is x cube graph red color graph is for x raised to the power x we are familiar actually with x power x this is 1 over e this point is 0 comma 1 you can watch that video also i will put that video in description below means the minima you are getting 1 over e comma 1 over e square this is x power x graph now point is function is not defined at x equal to 0 so that one is excluded point and that point is not our concern concerned is where my graph blue color graph that graph is x cube and red color graph is x power x where they are intersecting so this point this point and at this point they are intersecting you can see this point is x equal to 1 and the above one is at x equal to 3 you can see so there are only two solutions as per our graph x equal to 1 and x equal to 3 where is minus 1 gone so if i will check only only put the value x equal to negative 1 so left hand side would be negative 1 power negative 1 equal to negative 1 power 3 so i will write negative 1 power negative 1 as 1 over negative 1 power plus 1 equal to negative 1 cube is negative 1 so negative 1 power negative 1 so 1 over negative 1 equal to negative 1 so yes it is negative 1 equal to negative 1 x equal to minus 1 is our solution then what is wrong with this if i am plotting it is not coming out so point is once you consider the graph of x power x for x negative once you consider this graph you will be getting left hand side discrete values somewhere you will be getting real solution somewhere you will be getting complex solution or imaginary solution that is why this tool is not generating the left hand side graph what i am trying to say that point is first of all your graph is like this now i am putting x equal to minus 1 so if i am putting x equal to minus 1 in this graph x power x that value is coming out negative 1 so that value is here i am getting negative 1 now put x equal to minus 2 so that value will be minus 2 raised to the power minus 2 that means 1 over minus 2 raised to the power 2 that value is positive you can see 
at x equal to minus 1, its value is negative 1. And at x equal to minus 2, its value is plus 1 by 4. So next value is plus 1 by 4. Okay, these are integra integer values. So at discrete value it is true. But if you want to show the continuous graph, so graph would be like this. Somewhere you will be having x positive, immediately next integral point you will be getting negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative. And few of the solutions are complex valued, imaginary solutions. So we will ignore those solutions because we are plotting on the real axis. X and Y are real axis. So imaginary solution won't accept it. That is why left hand side you are not getting X graph or the graph of the given function. So what is conclusion? Solution is X is equal to plus 1, minus 1 and 3 because they are discrete values. They are not continuous. I hope you understood something from this video and for more videos, please do subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching.